Section 3. Listed Authorities, British Sign Language Plans. Subsection 1. Each listed authority, see Section 8, is, in each session of the Parliament, to prepare a plan to be known as a British Sign Language Plan, in this Act referred to as an Authority Plan. Subsection 2. But Subsection 1 does not require an authority to prepare an authority plan in a session of the Parliament if the authority is not a listed authority as at the commencement of the session. Subsection 3. An authority plan is a. To set out measures to be taken by the listed authority in relation to the use of British Sign Language in connection with the exercise of the authority's functions b. To set out timescales by reference to which any such measures are to be taken c. Where the listed authority has previously published at least one authority plan to state how, when and to what extent measures to be taken by the authority by virtue of the most recently published such plan were taken and d. To contain such other information, if any, as the Scottish Ministers may by order require. Subsection 4. A listed authority, in preparing an authority plan, a. Is to try to achieve consistency between that plan and the most recently published national plan and b. Is to have regard 1. To the extent to which the authority's functions are exercisable using British Sign Language. 2. To the potential for developing the use of British Sign Language in connection with the exercise of those functions. 3. To any representations made to the authority in relation to using British Sign Language in that connection. 4. Where the authority has previously published at least one authority plan to such comments as are contained in any performance review which relates to the most recently published such plan. And 5. To such guidance relevant to the preparation or revision of authority plans as may be issued by the Scottish Ministers. Subsection 5. In preparing an authority plan, a listed authority is to publish and consult on a draft of the plan and is to take into account any representations received by it by virtue of such consultation. Subsection 6. The persons consulted under subsection 5 are to be those who, the authority considers, are likely to be directly affected by the authority plan or otherwise to have an interest in that plan and in particular are to include a. Persons who use British Sign Language and b. Persons who represent users of British Sign Language. Subsection 7. A listed authority may revise its current authority plan at any time. Subsection 8. Subsection 4 applies in relation to the revision of an authority plan as that subsection applies in relation to the preparation of such a plan. Subsection 9. An order under subsection 3d is subject to the negative procedure. Subsection 10. This section is subject to section 6 and 7.